This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. A town hall Thursday in Ephrata gave area veterans a chance to learn more about services and resources available in eastern Washington. Wenatchee Wild tied up the British Columbia Hockey League's Interior Division semifinals during Game 4 last night in the Town Toyota Center. Families with young children are invited to the Early Childhood Literacy Fair returning to the Moses Lake Public Library on April 24th. Moses Lake Chiefs baseball is getting right to it with the hardest part of their schedule first. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News. And it starts now. A town hall Thursday in Ephrata gave area veterans a chance to learn more about services and resources available in eastern Washington. Held at American Legion Post 28, veterans heard from area leaders and providers who presented information on topics like employment, education, housing benefits, VA health care, and financial assistance. Afraid of Mayor Bruce Rhyme and Grant County Commissioner Cindy Carter were also in attendance, along with Jerry Gingrich, hired as Grant County's Veteran Service Officer last year. I think it's been instrumental having uh, Jerry in our office and out and about, so hopefully you're feeling some of those benefits. Um, and if there's anything, as commissioners, that we can do, you are a group of men and women who get things done. I think there's a lot of respect that we as commissioners have and that people in our community have for you. Veterans in attendance also had the opportunity to ask area leaders questions and voice concerns or support of some of the programs offered. The town hall was hosted by the Governor's Veterans Affairs Advisory Committee. For more information on veteran services and benefits, go online to dva.wa.gov. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Maytag and the family pooch have a lot in common. Both are loyal, both aim to please, and both are tenacious dish cleaners. But only one can sanitize. Maytag. What's inside matters. Maytag Appliances. Now available at more furniture in Ephrata. Wenatchee Wild tied up the British Columbia Hockey League's Interior Division semifinals during Game 4 last night in the Town Toyota Center. The first two games in the best out of seven series, which were hosted by the Vernon Vipers, left the Wild with some catching up to do. The Wild lost by six in the first game and two in the second, leaving the overall game total 2-0 to zero Vernon. Game 3 proved that the Wild could be successful on their home ice as the game point was scored with less than a minute to go by Wild Sam Hessler. Wenatchee Wild's goalkeeper, Austin Park, played the entire game last night and kept the Vernon Vipers to one point, which was scored during the second period. The Wild defended the Den once again with two goals in the first period, two in the second, and three in the third for an end score of 7-1. to one. The best out of seven series will move back to Vernon for Game 5, which will be played on Friday, March 23rd, and Game 6 will be back at the Town Toyota Center Saturday, March 24th. Game 7 will be played in Vernon on Monday, March 26th, if it is needed. Tickets anywhere in the bowl at the Town Toyota Center are $10 and on sale now. I'm Madison Meyer with iFiber One Sports. This segment is brought to you by... Your taste buds bored? Well then bring them to Jay's Teriyaki. Not only does Jay's have a variety of teriyaki dishes, they also offer mouth-watering salads and sides. Call Jay's 509-764-5155. Jay's Teriyaki, located at 123 East Broadway in Moses Lake. Because it's all in the sauce. Families with young children are invited to the Early Childhood Literacy Fair returning to the Moses Lake Public Library on April 24th. The Moses Lake Library is partnering with Big Bend Community College Early Childhood Educators for the event held from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. at the library located at 418 East 5th Avenue. Children's librarian Vicki Skane said the free program is for families with children between the ages of birth and five. The event includes crafts, games and activities, music, storytelling and more throughout the library. For more information on the Literacy Fair or other programs, call the Moses Lake Public Library at 509-765-3489. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. Moses Lake Chiefs baseball is getting right to it with the hardest part of their schedule first. 
After two non-conference wins against solid programs at Graham Kapowson and Woodenville, Moses Lake will take on the reigning Big Nine champions from last season. The Chiefs already played one game at West Valley High School on Tuesday, where they fell 4-0. Last season, Moses Lake played West Valley off of two losses to Graham Kapowson and Woodenville and were swept by West Valley. However, the Chiefs did go on to win enough to take third in the Big Nine. The Chiefs only lost two home conference games all of last year. With two wins already under their belt, they're entering these two games much more confidently than they did last season. I'm Am Tchaikovsky for iFiber One Sports. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.